Now that Slido is seamlessly integrated in WebEx, you have powerful live polling and Q&A capabilities at your fingertips, right there in your meeting. In this video, we'd love to walk you through how to set it up and use it. So let's dive in. Before you get started, make sure that Slido is approved and enabled in WebEx by your system administrator. Update your WebEx app to the latest version and ask your meeting attendees to do the same. Once that's taken care of, schedule a meeting using WebEx, Outlook, or any other way that you prefer. Launch it and click the new Apps icon here at the bottom. Pick Slido from the sidebar and open it. Here's where you can set everything up as the host of the meeting. You can create six different kinds of polls, so let's just create a quick word cloud poll to kick off the meeting. Hit Save, and there it is, our first poll. Create more polls, or combine several of them into a survey by clicking the folder icon at the top. If you need to edit or duplicate your polls, you can find these options and more in the three-dot menu. Now that our polls are ready, let's move over to the Q&A tab. Q&A is disabled by default, but we want to allow meeting attendees to send questions this time, so let's enable it. If you'd like to review people's questions before they go live for everyone else, you can turn on moderation in the review tab. This can be especially helpful at larger meetings. You can find advanced settings for polls and Q&A in the hamburger menu on the left-hand side. And now, we're all set. When the meeting starts and other people join, Slido will be comfortably waiting for them in the sidebar. When it's time to activate the first poll, just click the green play button. You can initially hide the results to keep the voting unbiased. The attendees will then send their votes, and when you reveal the results, they will see them as well. You can see all the incoming questions in the Q&A tab. People can ask questions using their name, but also switch to anonymous, unless you disable it in the settings. They can also upvote other people's questions, so that the most relevant ones rise to the top. If you've enabled moderation, open the Review tab and approve or dismiss the incoming questions. When you start answering a question, highlight it so that everyone is on the same page. When you're ready to move on to the next one, mark it as answered, and it will go straight into the archive. Now that your meeting is over and you've collected many useful insights, you might want to export your poll results and questions. Just head over to slido.com, click log in in the top right corner, and log in with your WebEx account. Open your meeting and then click on the Analytics tab. You'll discover an overview of the whole meeting and you'll be able to export any data you might need. And that's it! A quick note, if you have a paid WebEx account, you will have access to all features of Slido. You can find more detailed instructions at community.slido.com. We hope that with Slido and WebEx, your meetings will grow more and more interactive, inclusive, and insightful.